Hi everybody, my name is Dan Schmaltz and I'm uh, from the City of Cambridge Archives. Being in partnership with McDougal Cottage, we're doing uh, some historical videos on the uh, history of Cambridge. So today we're going to start with our first stop, which is the Galt Arena. So the Galt Arena was built uh, around 1921 and, and 1922. It actually opened before the construction was completed. Um, the seating capacity was reportedly as high as 4,500 people uh, at one point. Eventually, the city of Galt took over ownership uh, in 1929 due to financial issues um, by the company that was operating the arena at the time. Um, Galt Arena is uh, famous for uh, being known as the oldest continuing operating arena in North America. Uh, it's approaching its 100th anniversary. So, uh, It's also noted that several like famous NHL players have played here, um, including Gordie Howe, Terry Sawchuk, Red Kelly, Howie Meeker, and more recently um, players like Ryan Ellis and Brian Little. Um, it's previously the home of the uh, Galt slash Cambridge Hornets, uh, the uh, Cambridge Winterhawks, and it's now home to the Cambridge Redhawks. Um, a little story I'll give you about um, the arena and with the archives. In 2019, the archives assisted with a research uh, project being done uh, on uh, Colonel Austin Hatfield. So Colonel Austin Hatfield was a first and second world war vet and he was also the actual first trainer for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, we were doing uh, some research on behalf of a couple of gentlemen who were doing research uh, for uh, Chris Hatfield, the astronaut, uh, who is uh, a descendant of Austin. And uh, they came to do some research in the archives and we did a little bit of research and um, found out um, about the Maple Leafs training here in the 1930s. So uh, we actually uh, came across a letter in the old Galt clerk files indicating that from the Toronto Maple Leafs owner um, at the time, uh, legendary Con Smythe, to the mayor of Galt, uh, A.W. Mercer, uh, thanking him for his invitation to train at the uh, Galt Arena and as well in Preston. So they ended up training uh, in there and they actually held a charity game, which they also would hold in other areas. It, uh, the letter is really cool in that it's actually hand signed by Con Smythe with like the Maple Leaf Gardens letterhead. It's really, really cool. Um, this actually led to uh, me actually con being contacted by Chris Hadfield himself uh, earlier this year to do some more family research. Um, we were able to fill in some blanks on his family tree. It was a really cool experience. Uh, we were looking at the possibility of him coming to visit as he uh, noted that he teaches at the University of Waterloo every once in a while. Uh, but unfortunately, due, uh, due to the COVID pandemic, we haven't been able to make that a reality. So maybe hopefully in the future we will. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, stop at uh, the Galt Arena.